what should we do for fun today? A drive? I don't know about that. I think I have to go grocery shopping. What do you know about circles? What should we do for fun today? A drive? I don't know about that. I think I have to go grocery shopping. I need to pick up some jerky and beer. You want Alpo? I thought you liked the expensive stuff. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do. Since when did you become an Alpo guy? At least you don't want bacon. 22-7 bacon would be a bit much. Maybe bologna. Bologna would be a bit more practical. What do you know about circles? Didn't you take geometry? 3.1415926 going toward infinity. An irrational number used with radius and diameter to measure the circumference and area of a circle. I wonder what your diameter is. You know if we lived in a two-dimensional universe, you'd be in two separate pieces from your mouth down to your rear? You didn't know that? Oh, you did? Huh. Maybe you told me. It'd be pretty hard to digest bacon, that's for sure. Endless bacon. 22-7 bacon.
nice bathroom. Billy, remember you have to work today. there. I'm going to be there in about five minutes. All right, but I don't think there's any reason you should be able to go ahead. All right. Sure. Bye. I requested on the Tyler project. Thanks. Need anything else? Um, I don't think so. Don't forget about the meeting at three. Dawson will be in rare form. I'm sure that he will. Hey, we're going out to Murphy's for lunch. You in? Sure. Cool. I could use a Reuben. <laughs> I hear you. United Global is wrecked. Hey, how are you? Of course. This is a message from your local congressman. You're invited to participate in a town hall meeting to be held over the telephone on Wednesday, the 14th of October at 8 p.m. Please call 15 minutes.
You don't smoke, do you? Enter. Now you sure you don't want to come with us? Eat some treats, dinner, and whatever movie. No, Dad, I've got to do my homework tonight so I can go to Becky's on Sunday. You already know this? I told you yesterday. Okay. The parents, they really going to be out tonight? Yeah. You going to sneak over? Why sneak? I mean, can't I just come to the front door if no one's there? Why must uh, subterfuge come to play? Guard dogs? Yeah, your dad scares me. He looks, he looks like a guard dog. He won't be there. Wasn't he like a linebacker for like a group of inner city youths? Recovering from being built like a inner city youth? He's not inner city. How do, you, how do you know he won't be there? Because he'll come into my room and say, Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Eats and treats, dinner and winner of a movie. And I'll say, No, Dad, I have to study tonight so I can go over to Becky's on Sunday. You already know this. I told you yesterday. And I'll say, You sure? It won't be the same without you. And I'll say, Thanks, Dad. And I'll say bye, and I'll say bye, Dad, and then he'll leave. Then I'll pause, and he'll come back in and say, you sure, one last chance? Then I'll throw a pillow at him. Hello? Hi, doll. Is your dad there? No, he's not. How are you this evening, Mr. Phillips? Great, doll. How are you? Just fine. Nice to hear. Just let your dad know that I called, okay? Sure thing. Have a good night, Mr. Phillips. You too, doll. Hello? This is a message from your local congressman. You are invited to participate in a town hall meeting to be held over. I wish you wouldn't smoke. You look nice today. Everything. I really like this, uh, this pigtail thing. Kind of makes you look like a uh, papoose. I mean everything. <laughs> Yo, bud! Yo, G Bills! Hi, days of our lives. I wish you wouldn't call me that. <laughs> the wagon awaits. The shotgun is loaded. <laughs> Do you really have to go off with him? He's, he's my friend. Some friend. Uh, gee, give me a sec, alright? Be dice, okay? I'll call you out around 6 30. Sooner than later, I hope. Hello? Hey, girl, what's up? Not much, Lizzie. How are you tonight? Heard about a party down in Hamlin. You interested? Kegs and coolers, boys and more boys. Not tonight, Lizzie. I've got work to do. Girl, live a little. I'll pick you up at 20. Not tonight. Besides, I don't feel very well. Oh my god, you're as fun as the kitchen sink. Later. You'll call me later, right? Miss you already. You're still hoping. I, I really do. I really do. Miss you too. Bye, beautiful.
Here you go, son. Don't make a mess, I'll make you wear a bib. <laughs> yes, sir. Dogtown. Home of the junkyard. Got macaroni salad, home fries, two cheeseburgers, hot sauce, mustard, onions. Two junkyard plates, mac, home fry, everything. As I speak. Comet plates. You just don't appreciate art. You never even tried one. That's because I've seen one. Sometimes I can't believe you grew up in this town. I can. How can you scoff at a major contribution to the culinary arts? It's a mystery. So, are you going to come with me to the Alpha 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 party? Not hardly, it's Sunday. It's a day of rest. All the more reason to go out and celebrate. I went out with you last night, I came to dinner with you tonight, I feel like I've done my relational duties. Not even a word, relational? If it's not, it should be. Well, I'm going. Suit yourself. You might try doing your homework instead. I don't have class until one o'clock tomorrow. All the more reason to start it now. Ow, thanks, Mom. I'll keep that in mind. You know, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go to the party, because it's gonna be awesome, and you only live once. Oh my god. Looky, looky, how are you two? What's going on, Sarah, Sonia, ladies? What's going on? It's great. We're just here to get a couple of plates before we go to the Alpha 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 party. Are you going to be there, Cliff? I thought the idea was to get the plates after you were already intoxicated, Sarah. You bet I'm going to be there. Unfortunately, someone has a study. Study? Who's studying? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the day of rest, hon. How can you study on a day of rest? Besides. It's gonna be a killer party. It really is. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Mm -hmm. So, um, how are you gonna get there, Cliff? Um, you know, I haven't really decided yet. Well, you should come with us because we would totally have such a good time. Mm -hmm. We'd totally make it worth your while. Totally. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you won't mind, too. Have you ever read the myth of Ixion? You haven't. I'm surprised, I thought you liked mythology. Oh, primarily Canis mythology. Oh, my apologies. Well, Ixion was king of the Lapiths, the most ancient tribe of Thessaly, and son of Ares or Antion, or the notorious evildoer Feligas, depending on whom you read or listen to, and which Greek poet decided who was fornicating with whom. And when Ixion married Thea, daughter of Theonius, king of Phocis, he promised Theonius a dowry. Ixion, however, never paid him. Theonius retaliated and stole some of Ixion's prized horses, and the theft infuriated Ixion, who concealed his resentment and invited his father-in-law to a feast where he pushed him into a bed of white-hot coals. When the barbie was over, the neighboring princes were so offended by this act of treachery and violation of Xenia, they refused to cleanse Ixion of his guilt. Ixion was banished and became an outlaw. Zeus, however, had pity on Ixion and invited him to Olympus and introduced him at the table of the gods. Ixion grew lustful of Zeus's wife, Hera, and when Zeus discovered Ixion's intention, he formed a cloud in the shape of Hera and tricked Ixion into coupling with it. He then banished Ixion to the underworld and ordered Hermes to bind him to a winged, fiery wheel that spun for eternity. You ever felt like you were in a winged, fiery wheel that spins for eternity? Yeah, me neither. I'm sure someone somewhere has. I wonder if she would even choose to be there.
From where are you coming, Trouble? <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> That's me. So how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Just uh, kind of enjoying this beautiful day. It is nice, isn't it? Watch it, will ya? Isn't he a charmer? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Better get on with my day. Yeah, agreed. Italian blend wine with notes of fall and spring, morning cedar, afternoon cow pasture, and just a hint of a rusty car door. Wow, you can tell all that just by looking at the glass. No, I can't. I saw Bert pour the bottle. So you've had the Bello Italiano 07 before? I have. Do you approve of this hint of rusty car door, or do you think it brings too much iron oxide hydroxide to the wine space? Mm, I do approve of this hint of a rusty car door, although I tend to prefer the subtle droppings of an Alaskan oil well, especially with my reds. Who wouldn't? <laughs> exactly. What are you drinking, if I may ask? I'm drinking an 06 Malbec called Tierra Sangre. How wonderful. Have you been to Argentina? Unfortunately, I have not. Are you enjoying the wine that you've purchased? I am. Would you care to try a glass? I really shouldn't. I'm waiting for someone. I can have Bert pour you a sample. Hey, Bert. Uh, could you pour my friend here a sample of the uh, 06 uh, Tierra Sangre, please? Of course. I really shouldn't. Ah, this is harmless. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This won't interfere with my car door, will it? Ah, uh, it shouldn't. Marvelous, thank you. You're welcome. How did you learn so much about wine? Well, I make my own, and I've been uh, studying enology for years. You're a vintner. How lovely. No, uh, I'm not. Actually, I'm a gardener. Uh, enology's just a hobby. You're a gardener? That's interesting. Where do you work? I'd rather not say. You'd rather not say? Well, you could say I'm discreet about my clients. Well, I'm sure they're pleased with your work, nonetheless. They don't tend to say, uh, they tend to keep to themselves. Well, I'm sure they appreciate you, otherwise you wouldn't have a job. This is true. <laughs> when are you meeting your friend? Uh, he was supposed to be here 35 minutes ago. He works in the ER and sometimes he runs late. Actually, he often runs late. A little too often now that I think about it. I understand. Is he a doctor? He is. Lucrative occupation. It is. It can just be difficult meshing our schedules together. I'm actually an accountant at the hospital. That's how we met. I love him to death, but it just can sometimes be frustrating. I'm sorry. 
well, we can make it work. We're both determined individuals, and it's for a good cause. I hope so. Love is never easy. <laughs> I'll toast to that. Go for a walk? My, my. Oh, another walk already. <sighs> Don't make me feel guilty. Don't do that. I hate it when you do that. Don't look at me like that. All right, infinite walks. Oof. Infinite walks. You know, if the universe is infinite, then there may be another you and me somewhere going for a walk at this very time. That'd be strange. Three you and me's going for walks. Four you and me's. Maybe somewhere you'd be taking me for a walk. That'd be fun. I'm really not into collars, though. Events happening in exactly the same sequence base nothing more on probability, law of truly large numbers, I'm sure you know that already, though. You're good that way. Hey. How are you? Oh, really? You're at the office. Ah. <laughs> Not even dressed yet. Uh, yeah, last night was great. It was good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you really shouldn't make promises you can't keep. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to check my schedule, because I'm really busy, so. Oh, call waiting. How are you? Hey. Yeah, um, I was actually just thinking about you. Mm-hmm. I had a dream about you last night. It's really good. Yeah. But, um, hold on. My mom's actually on the other line, so... Hold on a sec. Hey. Hey. I will have to get back to you, because I actually, um... My mom's called, and it sounds really important, so... Bye. I gotta go. Hey, yeah. So, where were we? <laughs> yep. Uh, your place? Okay, sounds good. Yeah. I will meet you there. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I gotta check on something. Um, I will, I'll call you back though, okay? Yeah, I, I gotta go. Bye. Trouble. Oh, funny, funny. That's me. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm just kind of enjoying this beautiful enjoying afternoon. Enjoying this beautiful afternoon. It's, it's nice, nice, isn't it? Watch out, will ya? Oh, isn't she a charmer? Watch out, will ya? <laughs> isn't he a charmer? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Well, I better get on with my day. Great. Events happening in exactly the same sequence base nothing more on probability, law of truly large numbers. I'm sure you know that already, though.
anything for dinner, Sarah? Never mind. Last night, I read the myth of Sisyphus. Sisyphus was the founder and first king of Ephira. He promoted navigation and commerce. He also killed travelers, guests, and the guests of travelers. Zeus would sometimes turn a blind eye to these sorts of things, but Sisyphus betrayed Zeus's trust by telling the river god Asopus the whereabouts of his daughter Agena and Asopede, who Zeus had carried off to the island of Attica. When Thanatos, god of the dead, personally came to collect Sisyphus for his misdeed, Sisyphus tricked Thanatos into shackling himself. This created a giant uproar in the order of things, because no human could die with Thanatos out of commission. Irritated about not being able to kill anyone, Ares, god of war, soon rescued Thanatos and captured Sisyphus, bringing him to the underworld. Sisyphus, however, had told his wife not to give him a proper burial. He then begged Persephone, queen of the underworld, to let him return to the upper world to scold his wife for the misdeed. Persephone allowed him, and once Sisyphus was back in Corinth, he refused to return to the underworld. By this time, Zeus had had more than enough, for more than anything, Zeus hated to be duped. He condemned Sisyphus to spend eternity pushing a giant boulder up a hill, only to see it roll back down the hill upon the task completion, forcing Sisyphus to repeat the task forever. Have you ever felt like you spend your life pushing a boulder up a hill only to see the boulder roll back down the hill only to have to repeat the task forever? You are a boulder? Bacon-eating boulder. Yes, you are. I look. Thanks. You're welcome. Lunch later? You bet. What are the odds? Uh, ah, 50 to pay one. That won't cover lunch. Nice idea. Where are you thinking of going? Probably Murphy's. Nothing wrong with that. No.
Billy. Are you awake? Uh, you feel any better? Uh, we've run out of gas. Um, a bit up the road is a gas station. Stay in the car. I'll bring you some water, okay? Wreck. Yeah. Uh, please bring Lewis with you. Lewis, what are you doing? Looking for rattlesnakes, Rick. What are you doing?
It's north of here, about 20 miles down the road that way. Thank you. Lizard! Green and brown! Lizard! I so hate you. Word of the day is reptile. Reptile. Under the circumstances, Rick would have been better off if he were a reptile. Reptile. R-E-P-T-I-L-E. Whew. Cartwheel. Another cartwheel. Whew. Ah. That was the perfect 10. Total perfect ten. Perfect ten. Hey Rick, can I ask a favor? Yes. Can we rest for a bit? Sure. Just kidding. Rick, you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, we let's, can rest if you really want to. Let's just get to this Lucky so we can get back to Billy's. I hope that he's okay. I'm sure that he is. Outstanding. Ah, your Lucky Day gas station, two miles ahead. I don't know about you, but I just don't feel that lucky. Hey, Rick, can I ask a favor? What's that, Lewis? Um, when we get back to the car, can I drive? Rick, can I? Did you say something, Lewis? Bah, reptile. Keep looking for rattlesnakes, Lewis. So what if this Lucky's isn't there? It'll be there. How do you know? Because who would put a sign out in the middle of nowhere, Lewis? Good point. I should have drove. Yeah, I'm sure that would have solved everything, Lewis. I think it would have. Yeah, reptile. Bah. Find any rattlesnakes yet? Nope, but I'm looking. I wonder what this lucky guy looks like. No idea. something about wine that makes me feel in touch with the earth. Good afternoon, young man. Ma'am, ladies. Afternoon. You know, you really shouldn't wear black in the desert, young man. Thanks, ma'am. At least your friend has some sense. I know. 
Lucky me. Yes, well, anyway, so she bought the most amazing Riesling, but I can't remember the name of the vineyard. California Riesling. It sounds like a German burrito. <laughs> Isn't that amusing? <laughs> they were Morning. remember this car's license plate. Sure thing, weirdo. Want me to get his phone number too? How about his driver's license number? Maybe his social security card. American Express card. That's psycho. So I owe you. Uh, which pump, son? Pump two. Pump number two, that'll be one dollar. Thanks. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, you don't have an ad bottle of water, do you? No, we must be all out. Do you have a bathroom I can use then? Yeah, it's out back. But usage will cost you one dollar. One dollar. Upkeep, it's a really nice bathroom. Wonderful. Um, the old ladies pay? Well, of course they did. Thank you. And by the way, before you go in, please wipe your feet. I will. And may you have a lucky day. I will. I really love the outfits. I think I wore the same thing for Halloween when I was five.
Bye, see you later, old lady killers. Hope I never see you again either. Just point your guns at me. Ugh. Dead! R-E-P-T-I-L-E. Woo!
Unfortunately, I don't. I quit many years ago. It's probably a good thing. I hear they're bad for you. That's the rumor. Nice day, isn't it? Well, it's beautiful. How's your lunch? More than satisfying. Thanks for asking. Yankees play last night? I'm not a sports enthusiast. I don't blame you. <sighs> well, thanks again for the cigarette. No problem. Take care. <laughs> you too. Remember Persephone? That border collie mix you had a thing for at the park? Of course you remember. Well, she was named after the Greek goddess Persephone, who was the beautiful daughter of Demeter, the harvest goddess, and Zeus, the bad boy you are already oh so familiar with. One day Persephone was out picking flowers when Hades, god of the underworld, who had a real thing for Persephone, burst through the ground, snatched her, and brought her back to the underworld. When Demeter realized Persephone had vanished, she scoured the earth in despair for months with torches. Everything on earth ceased to grow and produce. Helios, the sun, who sees everything, told Demeter what had happened, and Zeus, upon hearing the cries of the hungry, forced Hades to return Persephone to her mother. Hades, however, tricked Persephone into eating some pomegranate seeds, and once Persephone had tasted the food of the underworld, she was obliged to spend a third of the year with Hades. It's during these months when the cold falls over the earth and crops refuse to grow, and thus the seasons change from life onto death onto life again. Well, you already knew that, didn't you? You are just such a smarty, a bacon-eating smarty. Hey, Kate! Come here, kid. Come here. do for you, sir. You want one? Maybe two, maybe three? No, thank you, sir. Yeah, they're free, kid. Just for you. Because I like you. Not today, sir. Alright. Suit yourself. But around here, Strange things can come around and haunt you. I'll take my chances. All right, then. Good luck, kid. Hey, Sonny! Son! I found a water bottle. Oh, nice. That'll be one dollar, son.
bonnie rabbit. Hey, Rick. What? What'd the guy on the porch want? Uh, nothing, Lewis. Nice day out. Beautiful. You buy sunscreen at the shop? Uh, it didn't cross my mind. Um, besides, I think they were out of stock. You need to think about these things more, Rick. You're right. I'm sorry. You better be.
At least one of us has some sense. Rick? What, Lewis? What'd you see in the van? Nothing, Lewis. Just focus on your rattlesnakes. Okay. Gotta look for bunny rabbits, too? Sure. What about lizards? That, too. Thanks, Rick. Nice day out, isn't it? Beautiful. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Which way's the interstate? I already told you, remember? Yes, I know, but this road goes in a circle. <laughs> 